actually showed up on time for once. Oh, really? I thought I was running late, so I rushed here. Well, it's good that you're on time. Yeah, I guess. Do you not want to be here? No, of course I don't want to be here. Really? Because I know a lot of people who would kill for the chance to meet today's SCP. Really? Mm-hmm. You're not just saying that, are you? Why would I make something up like that? You could be trying to use reverse psychology on me. I would never try to pull anything over on you, Corey. Well, it won't work on me, Doc. I'm too smart. Right. So what's this SCP? It's God. Don't be ridiculous. Well, at least that's what some facility members call it. It's actually SCP-343. But it's not really God, is it? Well, we can't really say for certain. He's certainly knowledgeable, and he certainly can do things no human can do. But we don't know if he really created everything. Very interesting. So what can this SCP do? We don't really know. There seems to be no limit on what he can do. I think I would like to meet this SCP. Well, all right. Let's go meet him. But I must warn you, he's a bit eccentric. Eccentric? Just be ready for anything, Corey. I've seen a lot of strange things, Doc. I think I can handle this. Well, hello, Corey. Gus. Who's Gus? That's me. <gasps> I never knew. You'll find that I know a lot, Corey. Psh, probably not. Oh, really? So you didn't eat shredded wheat today? I'm pretty famous for my shredded wheat eating abilities. You'll have to do better than that. Okay. How about that you used all the almond milk? Eh. And you put the milk in first. <gasps> no, Doc, that isn't true. I trust this SCP over you, Corey. You milk-pouring first savage. Fine. So maybe you know a lot. But that doesn't make you all-knowing and all-powerful. What could I do to prove to you that I am all-powerful? Well, if you were all-powerful, you wouldn't have to ask, so... Well, I usually ask for permission before looking through a person's soul, but I guess... I feel, I feel weird. weird. Really? That's all you want? What's all I want? An endless dinner buffet? Yes. It's been your deepest desire to eat until you explode. It's true! I've always wanted to eat until I explode. And not just some stomach rupture. Literally explode. Fascinating. He just materialized food out of thin air. This is highly irregular. Corey, if you explode, you'll make a mess out of my lab. I can make all the food disappear just as easily. Please! No! This isn't fair. Just when I was happy. It's totally fair. You were going to get food everywhere. This is my lab, Corey. But chicken wings... Don't worry, Corey. I see much more food in your future. Really? Are you just saying that? No, really. If you make it through everything that's about to be thrown at you, you'll get your buffet. I promise you that. Wait, sorry, what's going to happen? Oh, can't say. That would ruin the surprise. Well, that doesn't bode well at all. <laughs> no, it doesn't. So you can see the future? Of course I can. I'm omnipotent. I see time as a long river. I see where the branches fall off into different possibilities. I'm not a Close enough. 
What I mean is, I know everything that ever was, and everything that could ever be. But there must be some limit to this. No, and yes, there are currently 34 SCP soldiers in this building with three scientists and one Lego person. Wait, I'm confused. Amazing! I was going to ask him how many people were in the building. So, how else can I prove myself? I'm just getting warmed up. I've always wanted to see the Great Wall. Oh my goodness! This is highly improbable. <laughs> it was nothing. Wow, so this is China. Well, actually, you're facing Mongolia. Wow, so this is Mongolia. You are a very odd person, Cory. Well, yeah, but didn't you make me? <laughs> oh, no. Your parents did that. No, I can only set into motion the mechanics of the universe that allowed you to be made. So you admit that you created the universe? Yeah, I guess you can blame me for that. Way to go. I never thought I'd be able to see this. You know, between research and development and all that, I never have time for vacations. Well, soak it in. I don't think you'll ever make it back here. Yeah, that's definitely a bad omen. Yeah, 343. It seems like there's something that you want to tell us, but can't. Well, yes there is. Now that we're far away from prying eyes and ears, I can tell you this. Someone you work with isn't what they appear to be. I bet it's Bricky. It's totally not Bricky. I built him with my own two hands. Who are you talking about? It's not Bricky, right? I will not say who it is. It's up to you two to figure it out. So it could be Bricky. Why can't you just tell us? I find it much more interesting to operate in mysterious ways. Maybe you really are God. <laughs> that is a small box to put me into. What do you mean? I'm much more than just God. I'm everything. I'm the ground beneath your feet. I'm the stars above you. I'm the light in every man and woman on Earth. I totally get that. I didn't get anything. And just as easily, we are back here at the facility. That was amazing! Yeah, that was pretty impressive, but I bet you can't make a dinner buffet up here. I already did that. Dang, I was trying to use reverse psychology on you. That's not how reverse psychology works. Okay, maybe it isn't, but he can still show us more of his powers. Yes, I'm curious to see what other powers he has. He has shown he can read minds, materialize objects, and teleport across the world. Those are my biggest hits, but I do have some tricks. Really? Can we see? Well, sure, I guess. I've got some time to kill. Time to kill? What do you mean? Well, I gotta get going soon. Get going? Heavens no! You can't break containment! I know, Doc. But sometimes, people have to move on from where they are, see the world and whatnot. You should try it. But if you leave, I'll be blamed for the breach. Not if you blame Cory. Hey! That's not fair. Don't worry, Cory. They won't punish you. Please don't leave. I'm sorry, but I have to go. This isn't good. Too many SCPs are escaping containment these days. Yeah, but it's not like it's your fault. He just got tired of living here. And he left all his stuff. What am I going to do with all of this? Well, this is nice stuff. You can just take it home. I could have Bricky carry it for me. See, it isn't so bad. I don't know. What he said, what he was alluding to. Yeah. I've got a really bad feeling about what's coming. Yeah, me too. But it couldn't possibly be worse than the containment breach I lived through, right? 
I hope not. That would be the worst. Well, we all have to wait to get our buffets someday. Right, Doc? Right. See you next week. Yeah, see you then, Cory. You would never betray me, right, Bricky? Note to self, don't trust anyone. <laughs>